Australians expecting a high-scoring World Cup. Star all-rounder Ashley Garner will miss at least the first two matches of Australia's ODI World Cup campaign after testing positive to COVID-19. Gardner will now isolate for 10 days in Christchurch in line with New Zealand government health protocols, meaning she will miss Australia's games against England on Saturday and Pakistan on Tuesday. Australia's third match of the tournament is against New Zealand on March 13 in Wellington, the day after Gardner is due to be released from isolation. Possible replacements for Gardner who struck 60 from 32 balls in Australia's second warm-up match against New Zealand on Tuesday, include pace bowling all-rounder Annabelle Sutherland and fellow spin bowling all-rounder Grace Harris. All remaining Australian players and support staff have tested negative following subsequent rats, Cricket Australia said in a statement. They will proceed with existing plans to travel to Hamilton this evening ahead of the side's opening match of the ICC Women's Cricket World Cup against England on Saturday. Chief selector Sean Flegler will also remain in Christchurch while Gardner is in isolation. The World Cup will begin on Friday, when hosts New Zealand take on West Indies in Mount Maunganui. Dominant Devine outclasses Osses in warm-up clash. Daily case numbers of COVID-19 in New Zealand rose beyond 22,000 this week, as the country experiences its biggest surge of the virus since the pandemic began. Last week, the ICC announced that World Cup games could go ahead with just nine players in a team as officials look to keep the tournament on track. The ICC confirmed that female members of a team support staff will be permitted to field in a match in the case of a significant COVID-19 outbreak with games to proceed so long as a team has a minimum of nine players available. Quick single COVID hit teams could field nine players at World Cup. Teams have been permitted to bring extra reserves with them to New Zealand, beyond the 15-player squad, so players can be brought in and out of the squad in the case of infections. Heather Graham and Georgia Redmayne are Australia's travelling reserves. Originally scheduled for 2021, the World Cup is being held across the Tasman despite New Zealand being one of the few countries in the world to maintain a hard international border, which meant all teams had to quarantine upon their arrival. ICC Women's Cricket World Cup 2022 Australia squad, Meg Lanning, C, Rachel Haynes, VC, Darkie Brown, Nicola Carey, Ashley Gardner, Grace Harris, Alyssa Healy, Jess Jarnison, Alana King, Beth Mooney, Talia McGrath, Elise Perry, Megan Shutt, Annabelle Sutherland, Amanda Jade Wellington. Travelling Reserves, Heather Graham, Georgia Redmayne. Australia's World Cup 2022 Fixtures. March 5, v England, Seddon Park, Hamilton, 12pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time. March 8, v Pakistan, Bay Oval, Tauranga, 12pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time. March 13, v New Zealand, Basin Reserve, Wellington, 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. March 15, v West Indies, Basin Reserve, Wellington, 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. March 19, v India, Eden Park, Auckland, 12 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. March 22, v South Africa, Basin Reserve, Wellington, 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. March 25, v Bangladesh, Basin Reserve, Wellington, 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. For the full World Cup schedule. Semifinals. March 30, Basin Reserve, Wellington, 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. March 31, Hagley Park Christchurch, 12 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Final. April 3rd, Hagley Park Christchurch, 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. All matches to be broadcast in Australia on Fox Cricket and KO Sports.